Eagle Creek to travel pack 40 liter. So this is a convertible hybrid carry-on backpack and I'm going to review this today. Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Don of AhmedDon.com. Today I'll have another episode of review video and we're going to be looking at this minimalist uh, travel hybrid convertible backpack which is the Eagle Creek to travel pack 40 liter. If this is your first time or repeat visit, thank you for your support. On this channel, I'm always trying new and different ideas. If you're into thinking outside the box, this is the channel to subscribe. You're looking for, if you're looking for more review videos, there'll be links in the description box below. So I came across this Eagle Creek 2 travel backpack and it caught my attention due to its minimalist designing and uh, very lightweight. So today we're going to look at the, you know, uh, the positives and negatives of this travel backpack and then you know i'll give you my non-affiliated honest and unbiased opinion so let's go over some of the specs uh, first thing so this is made of 100 percent uh, recycled material which is right here and uh, that's a very good thing uh, so constructed with 100 percent recycled uh, fabrics so everything is 100 percent recycled so you're not actually using anything new uh, which is good for the planet and then let's take a look here so here uh, they have some of the you know specs which is uh, built with 100 percent post-consumer recycled fabrics and then the performance suspension and adjustable backpack straps uh, vented shoulder straps with stowable hip belt and sternum strap so basically you can you know uh, hide the shoulder strap and uh, you can just use it as a briefcase and then we have book style main compartment opening so it just opens like a book and then there's uh, like you know attachment toggle for in uh, packet integration so inside you can actually attach uh, packet uh, cubes or integration if you have it uh, which i don't have it and then there's a 15 inch uh, laptop compartment and then it has the rain fly which can cover the bag in case of uh, rain and uh, here is uh, uh, some of the specs which are uh, this is a 40 liter capacity and if you expand it uh, if you expand then it's going to be 43 liter then uh, the weight is only 2.8 ounce which is very lightweight and the size is 20.5 13 uh, by 8.7 inches uh, 52 34 22.5 centimeters and then when you expand it, it's going to be 20.5, uh, 13.125, and 10.75 inches. So what's happening here that when you're expanding, it's just like you know going up in uh, length. It's, it doesn't go up on the you know uh, length and uh, width. It's just going up in height. So that's the way uh, it works when you're expanding. And the material is 100% uh, recycled poly 6000D diamond dobby and uh, poly oxford so basically that's all we have here so this comes in uh, two different sizes small uh, medium and uh, medium large and you can actually find out what size is going to be perfect for you they have kind of a chart here and uh, i just picked you know medium uh, large so i don't have to it doesn't feel too small so the first thing i'm going to say that uh, this is a very minimalistic you know design when you look at it you can feel that you know it's a very clean designing it has very simplistic minimalist uh, designing and it just like you know catches your eyes that it's so nice designing so if you take a look here so this is the back and which we are going to open it slightly later and then this is the front so let's just start with the first thing first so you have a meshed zip pocket uh, this is where you can like you know put your umbrella or water and it should fit like you know standard uh, water bottle uh, but I think if you go over uh, one liter it's not gonna fit in and then here uh, these actually are compression straps and also we have uh, compression straps uh, right here uh, you can like you know compress it uh, to make it look smaller but at the same time if you have a let's say jacket or tripod you can also attach it using these uh, either uh, you can attach it here and uh, I think this one actually should be just for compression uh, you cannot attach anything here because the grab handle is right here so uh, there's one grab handle right here and there's another grab handle right here so you have two and uh, the one thing is it doesn't come with a uh, crossbody uh, you know shoulder strap 
so you cannot put it on your shoulder so it has to be used as a backpack or a briefcase like holding it uh, like this and then let's look at these pockets so Eagle Creek mentioned that these are lockable but the problem with that what I see that you know you're kind of locking uh, these zippers with this hole and it looks like you know it's gonna break or it's not gonna be that durable because look at the holding of these it's just like you know very on fabric so this is where I you know I don't like it uh, and al also I'm not going to lock it uh, but uh, you know if you're locking it with this I think it doesn't serve the purpose because this is very easy to break so it's just meaningless to mention that these are lockable zippers and if you open one of them so there's a kind of like you know uh, hook to carry your keychain or you can attach something else and this one uh, doesn't have anything it just like you know you can put your stuff so here uh, I can like you know put uh, stuff when you're going through the airport checking to take it out very fast uh, for example like you know your toiletry kits or small tablet or something else uh, or you can also you know uh, put in like you know small items for example pen or a notebook or something like that now I'm just going to show you the back before I open the bag so here this is the back side of the bag but uh, you can actually open it and you can take out the shoulder strap so let's uh, do that so here okay now this is the rain fly so you can like you know cover the whole bag in case of rain but if you want to use the shoulder strap then what you do you just kind of uh, fold them and then you have to just put it underneath where is the pass-through pocket so basically you're just putting it right here when you're using it as a uh, shoulder strap so it's like it's gonna be here like this so I don't like this a lot because you know when, even when you are putting it all the way it kind of you know it sticks out uh, for example let me just show you so let's say you're putting it all the way but it doesn't look neat here you can tell here that something is out uh, so this is also a bad designing, uh, you know, I don't like it that much uh, But if you're using it as a shoulder bag, then you have to keep it this way And it looks like even you cannot like, you know, there's no zipper here to close it So you're gonna have to just leave it like this way now the Shoulder uh, straps they're nicely, you know padded uh, They feel comfortable and there's a sternum strap and these are adjustable so you can just like you know put it up and down and change the position and to fit your own specifications and then here we have hip belt strap uh, to you know uh, balance the weight so you don't have to uh, it doesn't feel too heavy and also these actually you can kind of you know stick it inside here when you're not using it so for example uh, you can just kind of put it in here but again uh, here is the bad designing comes again it's not like you know you're just kind of just sticking it in here uh, so this part also is not that okay but here one thing is that there's uh, like you know uh, space for airflow so when you're using the shoulder strap uh, then you have the foam padding here and also the air pass through here so it's not going to like you know make you uh, sweat or uh, air is going to circulate for ventilation so that's another good thing now here I saw there's um, a whistle uh, and this is just for emergency that you know if you need to use the whistle uh, then you can definitely do so but uh, which is right here it's kind of like you know hard to find but this is right here so if you just like you know use this it's, it sounds like this so it's not bad uh, you know in hopefully you're no, never gonna need it but if you need it when you are like you know uh, you know, something wrong then definitely you can use that and uh, except that here it's not bad uh, except the you know problem with the pockets which are not like you know I think it's not that good designing now here we have a 15 inch uh, laptop uh, compartment and it's kind of in the middle and also it gives you access to take it out fast when you are going through the airport security 
and then uh, so it has the padding of the back and here it has the padding of the shoulder straps so that's a good thing and it has a kind of like a you know, false bottom uh, right here so it's not going to have too much support on this side but uh, the thing is uh, you're just like you know carrying it this way so hopefully that's not going to be a big issue and i put in my 15 inch uh, laptop and it just slides in perfectly uh, which i'm going to show you uh, right now so this is a 15 inch uh, surface uh, for laptop and if i enter it so you can see that this just you know fits nicely uh, there's no problem with anything so this is just you know okay uh, i'll take it out so now let me uh, open the bag so here we have number eight uh, self repairing puncture resistant zipper uh, these are actually not YKK zipper, these are uh, Eagle Creek's own zipper and I never had problem with Eagle Creek uh, zippers in the past. I have been using the Eagle Creek load hauler and I have a review on that but uh, there's no issue and these are lockable zippers so for example you can see that you know you can lock it and you can once you open it then it's just going to open like a book. Uh, what I was mentioning about the self-repairing uh, puncture resistant zipper is that uh, you know it prevents thief from getting in the bag but the thing is if someone wants to get in the bag it's very easy they have to just cut it here so uh, i don't think it's going to save uh, you know save your bag from thieves or anything but it's just like kind of an added layer of security and uh, not too easily get in through the zipper but if someone wants they can definitely cut it here so now here this is the inside of the bag and here we have a mesh uh, cover or pocket and here you can like you know put your items uh, which you need to see or easily take out and here we have the main compartment and there's a kind of a like you know a uh, toggle uh, hook right here so basically if you're buying eagle creek, uh, creek packet uh, cubes then you can kind of like you know attach it here but i don't have that so i'm not going to use that here looks like there's like in you know, a good space uh, because this is like you know 40 liter and it can convert turn to a uh, 43 liter now if you want to expand it then you have to just like you know take out or open uh, this part of the zipper open it then this gives you more space and you can see that now your bag is a lot bigger than what it used to be so let's say if you're traveling and you bought some stuff and you have no space then you can just like you know expand it and then you can use the extra space so i, I like this feature uh, i remember with the eagle creek load hauler i have the same feature and it came in use when i was traveling to india and i picked up some stuff so here they have a another uh, you know set of uh, strap or compression strap to hold or hold your stuff together so this is actually another good addition because not all bags have these but there's no other like you know pockets or anything over here so you just you have to use just you know packing cube and you can use this section to keep some items separated so the positives of this bag is the minimalistic designing. Uh, it looks very simple and it looks really, really nice. It comes in three different colors, uh, orange, uh, black, and I think the other one is uh, blue. But I picked the orange or midnight sun, uh, they call it, and it looks really nice. Uh, and uh, the negatives I find is that there's no you know, crossbody shoulder strap, so you cannot put it on your shoulder. Uh, you'd have to use it as a backpack. And uh, there's no daisy chain or there's no like, you know, a hole uh, with a you know hook in the middle so you can attach a carabiner or anything uh, some of these type of bags they have that and then uh, also there's no external pockets or anything uh, better than these two uh, or even there's no like you know pockets in here and then the mesh uh, water bottle pocket is not that big and you know I don't know how long it can hold so I'm not usually I don't use this but you know I don't like this type of mesh uh, pocket bag uh, I like it uh, if it's like you know fabric instead of like you know a kind of a mesh uh, fabric uh, I think uh, if it's like you know regular stretchy fabric that's more durable but uh, looks like it's still this is going to be okay 
and uh, then the other thing I like that you know uh, these two lockable zippers but really uh, this is just meaningless you cannot really lock it as you can see that you know uh, these two holes are not going to be able to hold it in case some just like you know kind of someone just kind of cut it to unlock it so this is actually not a good one and also I don't like uh, the fact that you know the rain fly and the back cover is going where the pass through is but there's no like you know real external pocket to put this in uh, same with these there's no external real pocket to put this in and then also here uh, there's no additional like you know a daisy ch chain or any hook uh, that I cannot actually I couldn't find anywhere on the back so these are some of the shortcomings but uh, except that uh, I like everything else and Eagle Creek bag I have used them in the past and you know uh, they're very durable and uh, my other Eagle Creek bag I have is the Eagle Creek uh, cargo uh, or I think it's load hauler so that is still you know working and I have take it to different destinations different places and uh, nothing happened to it so I have the feeling that the same thing is going to happen to, uh, with this this is going to last a very long time and definitely I'm going to be using this uh, on my next trip and I hope to do more uh, videos on this in the future. So thank you for watching. Uh, there will be more videos coming up. So I'll see you shortly. Thank you.